Hey, welcome back to Wayne Siegel's ministry. I want to share with you today another little word, and I want to say first in beginning that, yes, I have been trying to do a little bit more videos lately. I've been trying to put a little bit more uh, videos into shorts as far as a little bit more teaching or an inspirational line, or maybe something that will just help, you know, someone see uh, that the Word of God is alive and moving and real and being fulfilled in this day and hour in which we live. And one reason why I'm doing that is because, um, you know, YouTube does promote shorts just a little bit more sometimes. So whereas my video here might just be seen by my main subscribers, maybe that video will reach uh, more people and uh, more people will see something that will prick their heart and let them know that, you know, Christ is real in this hour. So if you just enjoy the videos, that's wonderful. If you just enjoy the shorts, that's wonderful. But uh, we do thank each and every one of you for supporting this channel with your faithfulness. I do appreciate it. I wanted to share something today that I think is just a little inspirational thing. It ought to really m make you... Uh, uh, stop and take notice for a minute. It did me. But, uh, of course, we all love our jobs. <laughs> well, let me rephrase that. I love my job. Uh, I hope you love your job. Someone once told me years ago, they said, if you love your job, it will never be work. Well, I will say that it wasn't always like this for myself. But uh, when I got, I worked where I'm, I'm currently employed for uh, a little over, I guess, around 33 years now. But it was about 12 to 13, I guess about 12 years ago, I took my job, my new job, in the same company. And uh, once I did this, I always said this was my dream job, what I'm doing now. Well, once I did it, I mean, it has its bad days. Everybody's going to have a rough day every once in a while on your job. But I do. I love my job. And uh, here's the thing. Uh, there's just a few of us that work in our department. Uh, my wife works with me in the same office that I work. We share the same uh, desk, basically, and share the same phone. Phone. I think my voice went out on that one, but we share the same phone. My boss, uh, other than my wife, my boss is one of my best friends. So, you know, it's just an enjoyable place to be, and I do enjoy my job. And someone said... As I said earlier, if you love your job, it will never be work. Okay, now, I've said all that to say this. Uh, everybody that you get up and you do your job every day, okay? Now, I want to switch to prayer for a moment. Now, this is a little different. Prayer is something that people might, you might set aside a certain time of day to do. You might, uh, some people get up early in the morning and pray. Uh, other ones, other people, they, they say they're going to pray at X amount of time. That's fine. Myself, I work prayer in during the day. I try to pray sometimes driving up the road. I pray sometimes on my job when it's just, uh, you know, if my wife is out doing something in another part of the warehouse and, you know, it's just me sitting there, I'll be praying in my mind to the Lord and, and talking to Him. Sometimes I do it at, you know, a different time. Sometimes it's when I'm outside doing something like you're seeing me right now. I will take time to pray. It's not something you have to have a set time on because if you do and something happens and you don't do it, you'll feel like a failure or you're failing. God. So, uh, my suggestion is just to try to make sure you pray a little bit. Sometime every day, talk to God. Prayer, remember this too, this is another thing about prayer. Prayer is not simply asking God for something, okay? It's simply not asking God for something. Prayer is also not something you just do when you're in trouble. Okay, if it is, it's basically just a one-way prayer. And just imagine if, I don't know if you're a parent today, and your own, your child only called you when they was in trouble or when they needed something. Can you imagine how you'd feel? But what you want to do is you just want to hear your child call up sometimes and say, you know, hey, Mom, Dad, I'm thinking about you. You know, I just want to talk to you and see how you was doing or whatever, you know. Okay, prayer is a two-way thing. It's you talking to God, you communicating with the Lord Jesus Christ himself through an open line. It's never busy. The line is always open for you. That's what prayer is. It's not just simply asking. It's telling God, thank you. Thanking God for the beautiful day that he's given you. Thanking God for your family. Thanking God for, for your job and all of these things. 
Okay, so now I've talked about a job and I've talked about prayer. Now, how's that going to relate to this one little thing that I wanted to share with you today? Someone told me, actually, it was my wife ran across something the other day. My wife ran across this and she told me this and I said, boy, that is really good. Wherever it was she seen this, it said, if prayer was your job, would you still be employed? If prayer was your job, would you still be employed? Hopefully, your boss wouldn't have fired you today because you don't communicate. But if prayer was your, your, if prayer was your job, would you still be employed? I heard that and I thought, wow, you know, it really puts it to you, you know. Men, as the scripture says, men ought to always to pray. So I'm telling you today, if you're looking to better your relationship with the Lord himself, if you're looking to draw closer to God, just seek God in prayer. Lift up his name and thank him. Give him praise. You don't have to, as I said, sometimes just pray without asking God for anything. Try doing that for a time or two. Just pray, thank him, praise him for the things he's done for you, the things that you know he will do for you, and how good and awesome he is. But I hope if prayer was all of our jobs, I hope we would all still be employed today. Prayer helps us stay strong. Hope you enjoyed this little word for you today. Remember to like, subscribe to this channel if you are new here. And again, we thank each and every one of you for your support. Remember, God loves you, God bless you, and we'll catch you in the next video.